For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a photographer out of Southern California. Today I wanna to talk to you about shooting products in Hawaii. I recently went on a trip out to the North Shore of Hawaii to shoot our upcoming season for Florence. Florence is an outdoor apparel company made in partnership with John John Florence, two-time world champion surfer. And we have a ton of amazing products between uh, waterproof jackets, hiking expedition pants, utility tops, utility shorts, board shorts, all sorts of different gear to help you thrive in the elements. We were tasked with going out there and shooting the products to use on our website, social, emails, all of that. So if you don't know already, I run digital for Florence. And so I basically oversee the website and our digital marketing. We need images. If you've ever worked in that field, you know how much imagery it takes to kind of satisfy all those different needs, whether you're sending an email every other day, or posting on social every day. There's tons of needs for imagery. Myself and our creative director, JP Olson, went out to Hawaii to shoot a bunch of our products. One thing we really wanted to be different about with our brand was we didn't wanna just shoot kind of studio photos or modeled shots. We really want to inspire people to get out and thrive in the elements. And so we think the best way to do that is actually have real people doing real things. We linked up with a couple of people in Hawaii and just got out in the environment and got our hands dirty so we could get some really compelling imagery and help inspire people to get outside. We started our trip with Ryan Moss. Ryan Moss is a amazing photographer out of Hawaii who shoots in water photography, uh, just any sort of outdoor commercial action photography. He shoots at Chopu, Pipeline, in the water, in the craziest environments. Uh, he spent months and months and months in the Kolau mountain range, which goes through, cuts through Hawaii. He's one of the first people to basically traverse the entire mountain range in one go. It took him months and months of work kind of figuring out different sections of it and then finally finding the right window to put it all together amazing guide to have for us. We also have been partnering up with him to use him as a test pilot for Florence. So we're sending him prototype gear and he's testing it out and giving us feedback so that we can help improve the gear. So it was an amazing time for us. We basically met up with him and he took us up to the summit of K1, K2. And we spent the night up on top of the highest summit of Kolau mountain range and then came down the next morning. It was scary to say the least. It definitely was push, pushing me beyond my comfort zone. I recently started climbing this year, so luckily I felt pretty comfortable on the rocks, but I've never climbed with a 30 pound backpack on my back. I had extra cameras, I had our sleeping bag, we had tents, change of clothes, food, water, and so you have this big backpack on with you know about 30 pounds of gear and we're going up and down hiking through some really intense conditions so you've got 20 to 40 mile an hour gusts of wind coming through you've got rain going sideways intermittently everything's wet and chossy and muddy and so everywhere you grab to climb pieces of the rock are falling off stuff's muddy and the ropes that are there you don't really want to trust them because you don't know who put them up, how long they've been there, if they're torn at all. So you use them because you need them, but you don't want to trust your life on them. So it was definitely intense and scary. Um, we got a late start as well because we didn't bring our poles that we needed for our tent. And so we had to go back and grab those and then come back. So that put us about an hour and a half behind. So on our way up, we got some amazing shots of Ryan Moss climbing and using our two and a half layer jacket. And then got to the campsite set up in dark. We climbed the last portion about two hours or so in the dark 
to get to the camp campsite, which is about a 20 foot by 20 foot patch of grass on top of the mountain and set up our tent, slept there, woke up the next morning for an amazing sunrise. We got out of the tent and it was just white glowing yellow uh, clouds and it cleared for about 15 seconds and I was able to take this pano and really set the scene for us. So pretty amazing. We also were using our expedition pants, which are a prototype pant that we've been testing out. They're amazing and they held up to conditions. And so you can see some of the photos that we got here is pretty amazing. Came down and luckily survived that mission. It was super fun. And then we went straight into boar hunting with Maddox Lotus, who's an amazing big wave surfer, boar hunter, fisherman, diver, kind of does it all on the North Shore. And we met up with him to go boar hunting. And so got some really cool shots of the different jackets that we have and some of our utility tops being used in, you know, the jungles of the Pupakea uh, region of the North Shore of Hawaii. After that, we went diving with him, uh, tried to spear some fish. Visibility was pretty bad that day, so we did what we could and got some cool photos. Also in all these scenes, after we use the product, we were putting them in that scene and getting environmental photos of these products. And we like to get the products how they've been used. And so it just makes you kind of feel like you were there and uh, you get kind of that feel for adventure. The next day we went and met up with John and went and he did some downwinders, it's called. Basically when the uh, ocean has a lot of wind and storm coming through, there's these surges of swell in the open ocean that they can ride on foils. And so we start up at Turtle Bay they catch a wave and go out into the open ocean and then just catch just like open ocean swells and can just continuously foil for 20, 30 minutes down the entire stretch of the North Shore. So we were on a boat, uh, our friend's fishing boat, Andre Genovese, a former uh, pro skater of ours when we worked at Hurley. He was nice enough to take us out on his boat so we could get some photos of John. It was pretty intense though. We're shooting with a 70 to 200 which you typically want two hands to shoot with, but you're on a boat in choppy seas. So you're holding on with one hand onto the boat, holding onto your camera, trying to look through and focus. Um, I popped a couple Dramamine and so I wasn't seasick on this one, but uh, you definitely feel it. Like trying to look through a viewfinder while you're getting bounced around trying to get the shots. It was pretty intense. John then went in, grabbed a paddleboard and went out to open ocean and paddled it through some waves, which we got some really compelling imagery and I'm really stoked on. Uh, John was nice enough to invite us over for dinner. And so we were hanging out at his house for a little barbecue one night. He had all his surfboards that he's about to take on his trip to Fiji. So he had about 12 or 15 brand new Pizels, freshly painted, just beautiful surfboards. And so JP and I kind of set up the boards and we set up these portraits that just came out really incredible. Um, this one with the Leica Q2 is really cool. Um, it's one of my favorite shots that I've shot with the Leica Q2. On the trip, we were shooting entirely with Canon R6. I have two Canon R6s, one with a 70 to 200, one with a 50 millimeter. And then I shot with my Leica Q2, and that was a lot of the scene setters and textures and that kind of stuff. I also shot with a Nikonos underwater camera with a 15 millimeter lens. I didn't get much because visibility was bad. And then we also had a 1DX in a water housing with a 51.4. And so we were using that for some of these water shots. So not all these photos are mine. Some are JP's and myself. It's a lot of teamwork. One person's kind of setting up the shot or helping do something. Uh, and then the other person's getting the photo. And so it takes, you know, a great team, great communication to get these type of photos. But these are some of the, my favorite shots that I've ever taken, and it's definitely a new field for me going into this kind of adventure, lifestyle, outdoor photography, and trying to show you know details of these products, and so we can commercialize them, but also uh, you know inspire people through them. So it's been super fun. I love doing it. I'm excited to do a lot more of it. I hope you love these photos. If you have any questions on gear, drop those in the comments below. 
there's links in the description with all the gear that I've been using. Go ahead and use any of those links. They're affiliate links mostly. And so I get a small little kickback if you use those. So appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>